all you beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first time, so I am very nervous. Uh, but I would like to do a haul with you today from Timu. Um, <clears throat> my name is Rochelle. I'm from Oregon. Uh, I am a mother of three and I have my awesome husband. I'm trying to think of other things to say. I have five dogs living at my house currently, so I love animals. Um, and I, uh, I've gotten all my inspiration from the following lovely people. April from Menopause and Madness. Erin from Hey Everybody. Mary from Retail Therapy on a Budget. Chris from Tall Bear Halls. Sharon from Shenanigans. Melissa from The Cheap Chick. Tammy from Hauling It With Mima. Gigi from Gigi's Craft Attic and Halls. Sherry from Twisted Gypsy. Mel from Tell We Are Ghosts. And Eric from Smile Until It Hurts. And so many more people. I just can't name them all. I, I love watching hauls. Um, that's not the only thing I want to do with this channel. I want to... Um, I'm kind of crafty, so arts and crafts and just regular home life, like cooking, cleaning, that type of thing. But mostly hauls. I like to shop. It's my guilty pleasure. Um, uh, with that, I guess I will uh, get to it. I have four bags with me today. Let's see. Oh, I have chickens in my backyard, too. <laughs> so backyard chickens. Yeah, I'm one of those people. This is one of those nets that you can put, like, lettuce or, like, a melon or something in it and hang it up for your chickens so they have something to peck at. You know, fun, fun. It's pretty good quality. It's really thick rope, which is good because the little peckers are sharp. No pun intended. I am so nervous right now. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I didn't give you the price of that. That was two forty or two fifty four. And this ne next product is three sixty eight. Again, it's for my chickens. <laughs> I feel like they're bored out there, so I wanted to get them, you know, stuff to entertain them. I thought this was cute. It's a little swing that you can, or that they can swing on. It has little bells. Uh, these are wood. Yep, yeah, wood. But yeah, that's awesome. I like it. Again, that was $3.68. Okay, I don't have a price for this one, but it's discontinued. Um, it's kind of a joke. Again, it's my fault because I didn't read the dimensions or whatever, how big it was. But these are supposed to be bigger cookie sheet size that you can put on your cookie sheet, you know, for an easy cleanup. And they're itty bitty. I'd have to use like six of these for a cookie sheet. I don't know what else you would use these for. Probably some kind of art project, I would imagine. You know, take a cue from uh, Gigi. You can always use anything you find and turn it into something beautiful. All right, this next thing is seven eleven, seven dollars and eleven cents, and it is some pajamas. It's kind of see through, but you know, if you're sleeping in it, it doesn't really matter. Um. I like it a lot. It's a uh, very soft. It's kind of that swishy feel, but on the softer side. I don't know how to explain it. It's not like what do they say, scuba diver feel. Uh, it's softer than that. So yeah, I like it. And this item was $14.99. It's an air cleaner purifier. Um, 
you know, decent size. I got it for my daughter's bedroom because we're fighting mold in her window seal. But I don't want her to get sick or anything, so you know, we constantly are cleaning it off and removing it and trying to kill it off, but it keeps coming back. But I don't want her to get sick or anything, so we got her one of one of these guys. Is it? Um, uh oh, does it not come with a cord? No cord. So it must be battery operated. Uh, no, it's supposed to have a cord. Otherwise, there's not a. Hmm. Is it supposed to come with one? The cord was inside the machine. It doesn't look like it has a cord. I'll have to figure that out later. And uh, I'll put it on the side if I can. Because again, I'm brand new to all of this. So I don't even know how to, what do you call it? Uh, oh, brain fart. I can't even think. I'll get back to it. And... I have an unhealthy obsession with werewolves, not the, like, uh, Twilight werewolf or anything, but actual, like, werewolves. I have since I was a little girl. They were my favorite monster. I like horror movies, um, so I love monsters, and werewolves are my favorite. Always has been. So, I found these are men's shirts um, for six sixty five. Then I got a XXXLR. Oh, oh my God, I can't even talk. Triple X. <laughs> I have to fix that. I'm, I'm so nervous I can't even talk. There's this. It's that slick material, you know. It's soft, but... Yeah, it's doable. I, I don't mind the... I'm not a texture person like texture doesn't really bug me so and there's that and then I got another one again a men's shirt and it was I know I wrote it down where is it at oh six eighty three Sorry about the dogs. There's this. Same, same feel. It's soft, but kind of sleek. You know, like, I don't know how to explain it. I'll get better at this, I promise. And then next was 683. Again, last one, I promise. Sorry, that was my husband. There's this guy. Same, same feel, but kind of slippery texture. Sleek, whatever. Really soft. Like almost, uh, what's the word? Silky. Kind of silky. That's the word I needed to look for. Let's see. Oh, yeah. These are $1.25. And. You know, it just reminds me of my childhood. I had these when I was a kid, but you know, some people haven't. But it's these little clips, little, little, little plastic paw paws are really cute. Anyways, and they can clip onto things like your hair. You have it in tan and then gray. Peace. I thought they were cute, and I used to have these when I was a kid, so. Childhood memories. I love them. And then these stickers were $1.79. And that's the one thing I kind of contradict myself. I like rock. I'm into like rock music and like horror and dark things and all things spooky and weird. Thus my bedroom. But when you enter the rest of my house, it's all... Um, like farm decor, you know, with grays and teals and um, a lot of uh, Highland cows. I love Highland cows. 
So yeah, I keep my bedroom, my personality, and then the rest, you know, more adult. But these are little Highland cow stickers. So I'm obsessed with Highland cows. I love them. These are adorable. Yeah. And I really like stickers. I need to find something to do with all these stickers that I have because I have a little chest full of them. I'll figure it out one day. Okay, one bag down. Do that little test, right? I'll keep that for garbage. All right, moving on to the next bag. All right, this is a piece of clothing. Let's see. It's six eighty-eight. Let's see. It's like a see-through hoodie. It has a hood on the back, and I love how it has, you know, um, lace. Let's see. How does it look? What's... Yeah, lace. It's really pretty. Whole thing see-through, so, you know, wear like a cute little black tank top under it or something like that. And it's just absolutely adorable. I love it. And it's very soft. Yes, yeah, so it's very comfortable feeling. And again, that was six eighty-eight. So, not bad. See, next we have another piece of clothing. Tony, knock it off. My husband's being a goofball in the background, as per usual. This was $14.48, and I believe this is a two-piece. I'm going to get you on camera one of these times, you'll knock it off. Okay. It's a little mushroom guy, a little... I love mushrooms, and this... Texture is more like the, uh, what do you call it? Diving, diver, uh, like a wetsuit, like a wetsuit type feel or swimsuit type feel. But again, I don't have a problem with, um, texture. So I think it's cute. And then it comes with a pair of shorts, same feel. And it has the matching little mushroom guy. You can see very cute. I like it. And then again with my obsession with um, werewolves. I got this little tin. It came um, kind of bent. So that's disappointing. But this was $4.48. And it's the howling. You know for the movie The Howling. I don't know if you can see. I love it. I wish it wasn't bent though. It is what it is. And I don't have any on right now, but I love nails. So that's another obsession of mine. But I'll show you. There's this. Maybe if I take it out of the pack, is that gonna be a horrible idea? It doesn't really matter if I take it out of the pack though, because I can't take it out of the plastic. So maybe I won't do that. Anyways, these were $1.89. I love their nails. They have so many awesome choices. And this one was $1.11. It's like little flames and they're black. Thought that was very cute. Sorry, I have a whole bunch of nails in this one. This one was a dollar sixty. I don't know if you can see. Very cute. And these were ninety-four cents. Not all my nails are dark and spooky. I like really cutesy ones too. And I love like rainbow stuff. Now we've got another pair. Oh, one of them is turned around, but you get the gist. It's cute. Okay. 
cute. And this one was $1.26. And then this was $1.89. Oh, probably can't see it very well. I hope that this isn't getting blurry. I hate it when that happens. And this was $2.36. These are really pretty. I love sparkles. I don't know. I don't really know how close to get the camera without it blurring out. Practice makes perfect. Um, let me finish the nails first. Um, I don't along with werewolves. I love moons. Anything to do with moons. Um, not because of werewolves, it's just because I love the moon. This one was a dollar sixty. It's like half moons, crescent moons. Very cute. see and these are discontinued and I couldn't I don't know I'm not tech savvy <laughs> I couldn't even find the price that I originally paid for it because I'm a big dodo but most of the hand gun nails are around five bucks you know for something so that's my guesstimate that it's around five bucks but that sucks that they're discontinued they're very very cute like little eyeballs little monster eyeballs little kitty eyeballs and bow ties and sparkles very cute and then i like how they deliver it in something like this to really protect it and of course it comes with um little no file and the little stickies but who uses those really? I mean, they're just gonna pop right off if you use those. It's better to use glue. Much better. Let's see. Any more nails in here? Um, sorry. Okay. No more nails. This was. 329 and it comes in a random color so I don't know what I'm getting. This is my first time seeing the color. Ooh, I got a pretty one. It's a like I don't know, it's blue and black, I think. Mhm. Mm and it's like a little whistle. I see all these really cool little musical instruments from like different cultures or whatever. And I want to start collecting them, kind of like, uh, um, why can't I think? Uh, kind of like Sherry from Twisted Gypsy. Yeah. <whistles> Pretty cool. I like it. And it's a necklace. And it's definitely ceramic. It's real ceramic. It's not plastic or something. And then let's see. Just my handy dandy scissors. These were a dollar sixteen. And it's an anklet. like this. Let me see. It's really pretty. It's a moon with a star, I believe. Shiny. I hope I got that in frame. Like I said, I don't know where to put it. And you know, I'm a thicker girl, so got to make sure it fits my thicker ankle, which, oh, it definitely does. Because it has plenty of these extensions. Definitely fits. Alright. This is a necklace. And it was $1.98. 
<laughs> Another thing that I'm obsessed with, apparently I have a lot of things, is um, Egyptian. I love Egyptian stuff. Matter of fact, I'm supposedly related to an Egyptian princess. I don't know which one. I'm trying to figure it out with ancestry, but I don't know how far back it goes. But, um, it's an onk. Very pretty. It's on a pretty long chain, you know? Us bigger girls have thicker necks, so they need a little more space. Try to dig it. And again, like, my obsession with... I have all, like, all my tattoos are Egyptian on my arm. I'm trying, I have to add a lot more, you know? It's just the start of my sleeve. Which I've been slacking on. It's been a while. All right, here's another anklet, and it costs a dollar thirty-four. Another thing I really, really love is um, cherries. This is can it's gold. I'm not really a fan of gold. I'm a silver person. I don't know. My opinion is that gold looks better with darker skin. Or, like, if you have a good tan. <laughs> and I think silver looks better on people who are a little on the whiter side. <laughs> but that's just my opinion, you know. Everyone has them. They all stink. Little cherry. Again, it's an anklet. And it comes with two more. It comes with this one. So you can kind of, it's like three layers of chains that go on your ankle all together and yes it's gold but it's has cherries so it's cute as hell and i'm sorry if i cussed at all throughout this video i have the um, trucker mouth sailor mouth whatever you want to call it i got a potty mouth and i'm trying to behave if it slips out i'm sorry let's see Last one in this bag, and it cost four twenty six. And this is just a silly thing. I keep seeing these, you know, for the past however many years, people pumping their lips up, right? And so I got that fish lip plumper, you know, you. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I'm not going to do it right now, but you wait however long and then your lips come in all. I don't have big lips. I've always wanted big lips, but uh, we'll see what I look like. Sorry, funny as heck. Let's see. Oh, I almost missed something in this bag. More stickers for $1.29. Which ones are these? It's like uh, light bulbs that have really cute, like, things in them. I just thought they were really cute. You know, stickers. Because they're fun. Getting them back in real quick. All right, that was the last thing in that bag. All right, it's kind of funny with the shirt I'm about to show you because I was watching Erin from Hey Everybody and she got the same shirt. It's funny, and it costs. Nine ninety eight. She's saying it for you guys. <laughs> but there's the back and there's the front. But it says, if you're happy and you know it, it's your meds. Got to do it. I love it because it's so me. I'm on antidepressants and it makes me happy. Sadly. Nice. This cost eleven ninety eight. If I can get it open. Okay. Hmm. 
could talk about texture wise kind of spongy this is spongy but on a thinner side it's like thin spongy i don't know how to explain it because it's not a thick sweater by all means it's very thin like you could wear this like you know on the spring day or something but i thought it was really cute But, you know, it's not bad. It's soft inside. Again, I don't have a aversion to any textures that I can think of. So, it doesn't bug me too much. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm going on a cruise next year. Um, a cruise to Hawaii. And I am a very white white person and I don't tan which is not fair because both my mom and my dad can tan and look as dark as a Native American or whoever you know with darker skin and me I can't tan I burn I'm a lobster like I naturally have a red tint to my skin I went to the Renaissance Festival couple years ago in Arizona because my dad lives in Arizona same with my sister and brother um so I go and visit them well I like to go to the renaissance fair when they have them once a year and they were making fun of me because they have a bunch of stalls you know for like vendors and stuff like that and I was like a lizard going from one shadow to the next hauling butt between them so I could stay in the shadow because I was burning that's how bad I am but anyways, I seen this hat from a different hauler, and I thought it was cute. I have a big head, like a really big head. I don't know if my head's going to fit in this. Probably not, which is disappointing. I also ordered one of the jumbo sun hats, so that's coming soon. But we'll see if my head even fits in this thing. <laughs> Just not. I have a, I can't put it on right now because I have a, you get the picture. I'm going to try to stretch it out a little bit. I mean, it's really cute. Not usually my style. I thought it was uh, a little different, but it's lace. Yeah. Lace that I would protect my face and like, what's this? Tony, what is this? This feels like uh, one of those like potato sacks. What is, what's that called? Burlap. Burlap. That's burlap inside. You can see. So that might get kind of itchy, but the straps are lace. Very pretty. I like it. I just got to stretch it out, you know, over my big head. That's the thing. Everyone's always making fun of my big head. All right, this was $13.98. And again, if I can get this open. I thought these were really cute. They're pants. They're like sweatpants. With the, you know, little drawstring. Yes, it has pockets. Uh, drawstring is fake, it's not usable. But yeah, it's pretty stretchy, yeah. And the material is soft. It's kind of feels like a cross between silk and and cotton, it's like a cross between. And it's uh, I've been doing this with the other ones. Sorry, let me find the tag. Let's see, it's ninety five percent polyester and five percent elastane. Sorry, I haven't been doing that with the others. Like I say, I'm nervous. But anyways, those are the bottoms. The sweats. Really cute. On the thinner side, which I like. You know, because I'm a bigger girl, so I get overheated easily. Unless it's freezing out, and then all I want to do is get into a big, comfy sweater. Let's see. Right, 
This cost $1.89. And I'm always trying to find um, pheromone perfume or whatever, you know, that goes with my, um, just with my skin, like, you know, my chemicals or whatever. I can't even think. My mom got this one. And it smelled really good on me. This one's not like the perfume spray. Hold on, let me give that a little cloud. This one is more like, almost like a lip gloss or whatever, like a lip balm. But I like fruity stuff, fruity smelling perfumes and stuff. Flowery stuff doesn't really work for me personally. Um, but anyways, it's this. And then you open it like that. Then you see it's like a bomb. That smells really good. When you put it like on your pulse points and stuff. And it's not really, this isn't really fruity. It's more flowery, but more musky, I guess. But it smells really good. I have the pink one. Pink one I didn't like so much on me. I have the white one and they also have one that's like this, but pink. But you know, what doesn't work for me works for someone else. But it's pretty nice. I like it. Let's see. Alright, this was a dollar seventy-nine. And this is like a little stone. But you're supposed to be able to you know, just rub it with your thumb. And it's something to kind of like fidget with. Um it's for like an some people with like anxiety and stuff, which I have, I have major panic attacks. I try to avoid having them. Um, mine stem from like being alone. Like I have to have another adult with me. So I'm like a giant baby. I got to have a babysitter. I'm trying to get over it. Uh, but I've dealt with panic disorder since I was like 18. So it's been a minute. So there's that. I like to find different little gadgets to see if they work for me. I've tried everything. Um, acupuncture, uh, different medications. Um, I even tried hypnotherapy. I've tried all kinds of stuff. Nothing's worked for me yet, but I'm not going to lose hope. Anyways, um, these cost 34 cents. I thought that was an amazing deal. And they're wood. They're wood. Which is awesome. They're not that, you know, cheaper plastic. But they're very pretty. I like them a lot. Again, that was 34 cents. And I think that they're still 34 cents. And this it costs $1.26. It's another one of those you know, pheromone type things. But this one is, in fact, fruity. It's uh, like, mmm, that smells really good. Almost smells like strawberries and grapes or something like that. It's really good. And I love, love, love getting their jewelry. I have so much jewelry. It's ridiculous. Uh, this costs $1.16. And I thought it was really pretty. I love purple. Amethyst. It's my mother's birthstone. I'm jealous. Mine is the... I can't even think of the name, but the really light blue. But, you know. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. I'll just leave that on. This, I'm not really going to, I guess I can open it. This was two seventy eight, And it's one of those LED lights that you put behind your TV. And then it kind of, you know, goes with the sound or music or whatever. You know, just strip your plug into your TV and it 
just adds the effect, you know, to things. Like when you're watching a movie or something or listening to music. Which I thought was cool. I don't know. Hopefully this little thing will cover my... What size is our TV, Tony? Which one? Uh, the one in the living room. 72? 72 inch TV. I doubt it. I'm probably going to have to order another one. But who knows? Maybe I'll just put it across the top or something. Alright, that's it for that bag. Last bag. I got garbage everywhere. So for Christmas, my husband never really wants to get anything for himself. He's always... I don't need anything and so I have to force them to get things for himself um but for Christmas I asked him you know what do you want I'll get you anything you want he wanted a freaking water cooler of all things so I got him a water cooler I tried to convince him to get something else but he just wasn't having any wonder water cooler because we went through water bottles like crazy you know but anyways so this was $2.98 and it's a scrub brush for the water jugs. I thought that was a really good idea. It's like a giant scrub brush. Why can't I open this? Sorry for the noise. Unless you like that kind of thing, then carry on. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, it just screws on. So you can stick this thing in and then it's pretty long. Yeah, pretty long. So you can get in there and just like really clean them out. Because I'm sure after a while, even water will get like a layer of like goo. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so you want to keep things nice and sanitary. Let's see. And then I got these, which was $4.98. I'm sure everyone's seen these. I want to try them out. For me and my kids, you know, you stick your hair in there and you wear them overnight. You pull it, your hair through with this thing. And you like put it through here. And then you go like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> and then you hook your hair right there and then you pull it through. All the way through and it kinks up like that and you sleep with it overnight and then you can just pull them out it doesn't hurt or nothing and then their hair should be nice and curly which i thought was an awesome idea so i had to get me some and again that was 4.98 all right got me a pair of sunglasses i can already tell this was a dollar seventeen. So let's see. Yep, sunglasses. Let's see. These are pretty nice. And on the back. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I like them. I like all different kinds of sunglasses. I like the, you know, big cat eye glasses, which I have a few pairs of those. I got on Timu. My husband laughs at me when I wear them. But it's okay. And I got some socks. This pack was $4.88. All leopard print. Mm -hmm. It comes with pink one, white two, green three, yellow four, teal or blue five, and then purple six. Six pairs. Kind of on the bigger side, honestly. Like they stretch pretty good, so 
you're a big-footed woman, and these will fit you just good, just fine. Again, those were four eighty-eight. I've been ordering a lot of socks lately because I'm a cook and I'm on my feet all the time, and I am I have like harder heels, and I wear through my socks within a few days. If yeah, so I gotta get a lot of socks. These were a dollar seventy-nine. That's just one pair, but I thought they were really cute. Longer socks. That's like chess pieces. And it's like a chess board. Right now I'm like in this obsession with like um why can't I think? Tony? <laughs> checkered. Checkered. Yeah, my bed sheets are checkered. I have a thing with checkered right now. As you'll be able to tell with this next pair of socks, which costs a dollar thirty-two. More checkered. My favorite colors are black and red, but here lately it's been black and white. Um and teal. Teal, I've been having a thing for teal. But anyways, it's two pairs of socks. Checker. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay, they do stretch. Cause I did get a pair of socks, one Timu haul, and like this part did not stretch at all. You had to have like little chicken legs to get the socks on. These ones stretch. So again, those were a dollar thirty-two. All right, next, this was fifteen fifty-nine. Funny, it comes like saran wrap. <laughs> you think they just put it in a bag, but it's okay. Oh, I see. It was in a bag, but it was ripped, so they saran wrapped it. Alrighty then. It's a little kitty kitty meow meow. Mm -hmm. There. Um, but it's, you know, kind of quirky. Uh, you can see its bones, which I like. That'll be added to my collection. And it's black and white, which matches with the rest of my bed. All right, for dollar forty-nine. This is something else for my husband for his water cooler. You know, those things are uh, pretty freaking heavy, but it, this is to hold on to them, so you actually have a handle instead of having to, you know, lift the whole thing up. Let's see, I don't even know how it works. Oh, I see. You go like that, and then you close it. It makes it smaller, like in between is. It gets kind of wider, I guess. I'm guessing. My husband will figure it out. I don't know. But yeah, it's a uh, pretty thick um, plastic, so I don't think it'll break or anything easily. Well, that's a good thing considering those things are heavy. Yeah, and yeah, it's good. Good quality. And I have a lot of stickers in this haul, but. It's funny because I have three of the same sticker packs. And then, uh, yeah, this one's the same. But they looked different when they were listed. So, I don't know. One was $1.99, one was $1.69, and one was $1.12. But, the, like, the pictures of the sticker packs, you know, they have them all spread out nicely on the picture. They all looked a little different. These are the same. But, what can I do? Maybe there's some differences inside, and it's just the very first sticker that's the same. Here's the hoping. Doubtful, though. They're cute like little things in jars. Hmm. I'm not gonna bother opening up the other two because I just showed you. Because they look exactly the same. There's that. 
more stickers. This costs $1.69. These are like gothic y, definitely Tim Burton ish, even though it's not technically Tim Burton. It's more like an off brand of Tim Burton. I know I've seen, um, where is it? I've seen like the Corpse Bride in here somewhere, but it was not the same. It was kind of like off brand looking, but still. I love Tim Burton. I love all of his movies. But you get the picture. It's Tim Burton-esque. I love his style. His is aesthetic. I don't know how to paint my room in his aesthetic. I've seen it done before. It was really cute. Getting like the littler things out. Okay. And remember when I said I have a potty mouth? Well, I have a dark sense of humor. So, yeah. Um, doesn't mean I'm a bad parent or anything. They know I'm just kidding and they're not allowed to cuss or anything like that. They're very respectful kids. So, if I put a little cuss word up on my walls here or there, they know, you know. Not to do th say that. This was a dollar sixty nine. Comes with a little string and it says, "Flush the effing toilet." I thought it was hilarious. But again, that's my dark sense of humor. I know I'm not the only one out there. It's wood, like particle board, thin. But it's cute. I like it. And I put that back in the package so I don't lose the cord to it. Wait, so you see my kitchen sign. <clears throat> I'll show that to you next. And I would never actually do this. This is literally just my sense of humor. I, I don't believe in, you know, abusing your children. I no. That is not me. I'm very against that. Anyways, this was $3.98. And it says, oh, wash your dishes or I'll punch you in the face. Love, Mom. No, I don't actually condone something like that. I just think it's funny. My kids know I joke around like that. To each their own. All right, hope you guys are ready for more stickers. This cost a dollar fifty-two. These are more like cutesy, gothic-ish stickers. I thought they were cute. And then this was a dollar sixty nine. Where do I open it? Okay, where my scissors go? So at first you can't succeed, rip it apart. No, this came with two packs. No, oh, two packs for a dollar sixty-seven or nine, whatever I wrote down. This one is of animals. So, because I like you know bright and colorful things, I'm not all dark. I'm a dark country, <laughs> whatever that means. And then I like bright, colorful stuff too at the same time. Like, I love rainbow stuff. And I have friends say, well, 
if you wear Reba stuff, people are gonna think that you're, you know, showing off your pride. I'm like, no, I don't. Have, I love gay people. Um, because I'm not gay. That doesn't mean I can't wear rainbow stuff. Uh, who said that rainbows are just for pride? It's not just for pride. Um, these ones, I don't know. It came with the whole animal thing. I guess it's more animals, but it, they've got it all over the place. But it has like a little girl in the front, so that kind of threw me off. But more animal stickers. Oh, yeah. Plus, I usually share my stickers with my kids. So, if they like something, I give it to them. This is a pack of gnome stickers, which I also am obsessed with gnomes. These were two eleven. I'm kind of like Gypsy. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with a lot of things. It's just cute, like, you know, gnomes. Gnomes doing gnome things. There's a lot of them. I don't know how many stickers there are, but it's a good amount. What is this? Dollar sixty nine. Ugh. Apparently I have four of them. Four. A dollar fifty nine. These are axolotls. I love axolotls. Love, love, love. No, I'm not showing them the right way. Axolotls. Love uh, axolotls. They're so cute. Again, it was a dollar fifty-nine. Last sticker, I believe. You guys are like, thank God. This was ninety-nine cents. It was like pink goth. Pink gothic. Which I used to hate pink, okay? I was very anti-pink. But since Timu, I've really gotten into some pink. Clothing, stickers, decorations, stuffed animals, whatever. I'm starting to really like pink. But it has to be like pink with black. And I was very anti-pink. Very. All right. This was 99 cents. My husband has the bushiest eyebrows ever. So these are eyebrow cutters. Like, I have to cut your eyebrows when they're long. And my poor daughter got some of her, you know, dad's eyebrow, eyebrow length going on. So that's something that she's probably gonna have to use. And speaking of eyebrows, I have none, you know, being from the 90s, I plucked and plucked and plucked and, you know, it was the thing to have really, really thin eyebrows. Well, my eyebrows no longer grow, so they're stuck thin, which really sucks. I'm sure some of you 90s kids can relate. This is for your eyelashes, you know, to brush out any like clumps or anything like that or just a brush in general i thought it was pretty cool and this was 97 cents i love those flash deals you know you get some cool stuff 
This was 224. And you know, okay, my rainbow thing coming. This is an anklet. Thought it was a really cute anklet. Or I'm sure you could wear it as a bracelet too, but it's supposed to be an anklet. Just so cute. It's beads and then it has, you know, the pull to make it tighter or looser. So it can fit any size ankle, which is good. Especially for us bigger ladies. This was two sixty nine. Okay. And I thought this was really cool. I keep seeing it popped up. So it's a bracelet. Let's see. How can I do this so you guys could see it? There you go. It's a bracelet with an octopus. I thought it was really cute. Again, that was two sixty nine. All right. So again, nineties kid. Same with my husband. So we all played the Oregon Fell computer game. And I'm sure you guys have seen this already, but my husband, you know, he really gets on um, Timu to look. But when he does, you know, I pick out a few things and I'll get them for him. But he's seen this the last time he looked and I had to get it for him. And it says, get in losers. We're going to die of dysentery. So it's like that game. Yeah. The material, you know, feels kind of cottony. Like a thinner cotton. This is a 4X. With the men, I've noticed you kind of have to size up. That's what I've noticed. Like, especially with pants. T-shirts, maybe not so much, but pants, you definitely got to size up with them. Alrighty. This was 1111. Now, I usually try to stay away from yellow. Yellow is definitely not my color. But, I couldn't resist these pajamas. And I'm sleeping in them, so it's not like it's a fashion show or something. And it comes in shorts, with little bats. And the yellow is more like goldish than it is. And then this is the top. And this definitely has that, that uh, smooth texture, you know, kind of like silky. But, like... A thicker silk. I don't know how to explain it. It's a long sleeve. So it comes with shorts and a long sleeve. Makes a lot of sense. I don't know. But it's still, it is cool. Little bats. Oh, but you know, more socks. A dollar oh eight. Yeah, what I said about cows. Uh -huh. Yeah, these aren't Highland cows, which are my favorite. But I don't mind a little just regular cow. And I like how they have, like, on the back of them, the little cows. This is sweet milk for these. And these are just striped, but they also have the little cow on the back. And these are solid black, but also, again, the little cow on the back. And then a cow print one with the same. And then a stripes with the cows. Which I've already gotten one of these orders before, but I like them, so I got some more. Let's see. This was... 9.49 and I accidentally ordered two which my bad I like the whole Beetlejuice thing so I, I love stripes I know bigger girls aren't supposed to wear like what vertical no vertical is okay and side to side is not I don't know but anyways there's just leggings I love leggings and I like how it like 
V's right there. Has a good stretch. You know, they're just leggings, but they're really cute. I like them. Be cute with like a solid black top or something. Accidentally got two pairs. Mm -hmm. All right, and this was eight eighty nine. My husband's favorite band ever is Misfits. So I have a lot of Misfits in this house. I don't have a whole lot of Misfits things for me. Which I don't mind the band. I like it too. There, I got me some pajamas. Misfits pajamas. And it's that, like, that silky, um, I almost said flavor. Silky flavor. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, silky texture. Just the last thing. Make sure. Oh no, we got one more sticker. Yep, one more sticker. Let's do the sticker first. This was two eleven, and it's one of those rolls of stickers, you know. But it's like wolves, which I love wolves, not just werewolves. So yeah, there's that. And last but not least, this is a hand massager. And um, let's see, five levels of force adjustment, bump massage, airbag wrapping. So it gives like pressure, you know, it fills up with air and gives pressure. Five stages for massage, multi frequency vibration. So I had, this one cost $31.29. I had gotten my mom one of these, but in black. So I think it wasn't this exact same one for Christmas and it didn't work. So I sent it back and I totally forgot to get her another replacement for her gift. I finally did it. So here it is. And she has rheumatoid arthritis. So this should work really good for her. Um, I might borrow it sometimes, <laughs> but yeah. That is my haul. I hope I didn't do too terrible. Sorry about my nervousness. Um, but yeah, that's me. I will get better at this, I promise. Um, but yeah, so be strange, but don't be a stranger. And with that, I'll catch you later.